How's it going everyone? Hope your day is going well. On today's two minute tech tip Tuesday, I'm gonna be showing you how to install this brake lever and brake reservoir cover from TKI. So more of an install video, but they only take a few minutes to install. So let's get started. Now this video only really applies to matrix sleds, but axis sleds are very similar. You'll just have to look up exactly what to do on your axis sled. Now you don't need to unbolt the master cylinder assembly. I was in the middle of a handlebar install, so that's why mine is disconnected at the moment. But if you want to be able to see what you're doing, you can always just loosen it up real quick and that'll just make it a little bit easier to work on. So there's two pins that need to be removed, one that holds the brake lever to the master cylinder, and then the other one holds the parking brake lever to the lever itself. On each of the pins, there's a small little spring-loaded detent that just needs to be pushed in so that we can remove the pins. Just use a small flathead screwdriver to push the detent, and then with your finger, just push the pin out. Now there is a small spring for the parking brake lever. Just take note of it, and we'll go over it on install. And same thing with the other pin, just make sure that you catch the lever when it falls. Now with the new lever, slide it in from the front, and insert the pin. Now for the spring on the parking brake lever, the larger hole just lines up with the hole that the pin goes through. And then there's a couple smaller holes that the spring ends go into, both on the parking brake lever and the brake lever itself. It should pop in pretty easily and then slide the pin in and you're all done. The brake reservoir cover is even easier and faster to install. You just need to remove the three stock screws, which are a T20. The new cover is machined absolutely perfectly inside and out. That allows it to sit perfectly flat on the reservoir and absolutely hug it like a glove. Now using the supplied screws, we're going to go ahead and get them started and then snug them up, being careful not to over tighten since the reservoir is plastic. And just like that, you're all set. Now you can ride with confidence knowing that you've added some strength to the brake reservoir and some better ergonomics with the new brake lever. All right, and that's all I've got for you today. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Yeah, yeah.